you know, sometimes I, I sit here and I think, I'd like to say I told you so, but or whatever, you know. But now, after what happened with that whale, I don't want to do anymore because I don't want to be anything like him. But I will oh, say, yeah. <laughs> I will say that last night, He's last night. He's making a change. Look at this. Yeah, I'm making a change because I realized what a despicable, horrible thing it is to be like Obnoxious, that whale. Obnoxious, arrogant, yeah. rude. Horrible. It's horrible. Obstreperous. I did it to be funny. He did it to be legit. But anyway, so last night, Dave said, what's your what's your prediction? And I said, I'd said, you know, right around, uh, I'd say about 30,000 would be my guess. Because, of course, they had like, you know, 60,000 requests or whatever. And, uh, you know, if I know if I know one thing from running a business over the years, it's like a lot of people will say a lot of things till they actually have to pay the money. It's a so, big, thing, yeah, big difference between pledging and delivering, yes. 60,000 pre-sales, I thought, you know what a safe number would be, I would say, is, is I'd say first day about, uh, about 30,000. And uh, it looks, according to Dave, that uh, first day sales for Wembley are 35,000, which guarantees AEW will have their largest ever attendance, largest ever gate before a single match is even announced. 60,000 pre-sale codes were requested and distributed. Uh, the Clash at the Castle event in Cardiff, WWE had nearly 90,000 requested in a similar pre-sale system. And, of course, they did not get 90000 It was about, uh, I think it was somewhere around 45, 50 or something like that. But full seating capacity of the event is unknown. But uh, that is just first day. That's first day pre-sale. So I think the actual on-sale date is, is Friday. And I think they're going to comfortably get, I would say, at minimum, by the time the show rolls around, I would say at minimum, you know, 50, 55000 Are they going to get ninety? I mean, they could. But... Um, does Tony work the number? No, I don't think okay. so. I don't think he will. Well, with Clash at the Castle, what they claimed was, let's see, 62,296. That's what at least it shows on the always accurate Wikipedia. So if that's what they claimed, who knows what they had. But, you know, with, with AEW now, I mean, you do have a long way off. Is, you know, 15,000 too few to ask for? Because at least that puts you at 50,000, which is a great number. Sounds like a great number. The people on the outside, it's impressive. So I know that thing can seat, you know, at 80,000, 90,000, just depending on what configurations they decide to have and how much of the field they decide to use in the stage and all that stuff. But the bottom line is it's their biggest gate. It's going to be their biggest attendance, and it's going to be a big show. So... You know, what the, what the quality of the show is going to be, we'll find out later on down the line. But, you know, that was a big haul for the Open, and you got months and months to try to draw people to it and sell the rest of those seats. Well, we'll follow that over the next couple of days, and then uh, obviously the next big day is Friday for the, the public on sale. Although really, you know, to me, I could be wrong about this, but AEW, it's not like a, a WWE event where... You know, for example, your mom has heard of WWE and knows of Hulk Hogan and that sort of thing. And, you know, they draw a large casual base wherever they go. I mean, for AEW and Wembley Stadium, my guess is that, you know, most people that know about the show and are going to want to go to the show, they're going to get that pre-sale code. They're not going to yeah. say, ah, let all the good tickets go. We'll do, you know, on Friday, we'll just, uh, you know, be the public. So I would I would bet that you know I don't think it's going to be like you know 35,000 today and then 35,000 when the official tickets go on sale. I would think that uh you know this is the big early surge. And then the idea here is well, you know, keep pushing it hard, make it seem like it's going to be this thing you can't miss, start announcing some matches for uh for what you would like to do for the show obviously we're a long way out start getting some travel packages going not only for you know possibly here but obviously for you know all over the european continent to try to get people over there and make it you know a worthwhile trip try to bundle things together the best you can to help people out on money you know when they are you know again because look how many 30 you know 30 dollar tickets i'm assuming are going to be available i'm assuming that's about the cheapest price right 25 or 30 bucks in all likelihood you know whatever that is in 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 euros right now but you know you put things together like that too to try to draw people in where again because it's not like people are not hurting for money all over the place too so in all of the months that you have leading into this thing try to put some things together where you can draw people and try to add value to to go into the show 
the main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that that's been a champ for so long have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There was the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By E? It said by E. Big E, I guess. Big E, okay. Big E. (laughs) (laughs) For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Comic book villain, I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.